Hi, my name is Cheryl Patton, and today I'm going to show you how to create beautiful bows for stunning packages. I have two examples of Christmas presents I've wrapped, one with a very simple bow and one with a beautiful bow that I'm going to show you how to create in six easy steps. Before we do so, we need to assemble our items. You will want ribbon two to three inches wired. You can get this at Costco, a floral store, or a craft store. I happen to get this one at Costco and I buy it by the spool. Next, you'll need wire, 20 to 22 gauge. You'll need wire cl clippers, scissors, and last but not least, the Easy Bow Maker. I bought this at the Minnesota State Fair 10 plus years ago. Now don't worry, you don't have to go to the fair to buy this. You can go directly to the company. I've included their website in my descriptions below. All right, let's get started. Step one, I take my wire, which in this case is 20 gauge. I bought it at a craft store. I measure it about the width of the board. I cut it with my wire snippers and I place the wire diagonally between the two dowels. Step two, I place my ribbon on the ribbon dowel. I thread it through between the two smaller dowels and I leave about a 10 inch tail. I then create a loop five inches on the board and it's marked by five inches, four inches, so on. Then I twist it in the middle and I create another loop five inches on the other side. Then I proceed to do two more per side for a total of three. Step three, I create a four inch loop and I do that times two on each side for a total of five loops per side. Step four, I create a two inch loop only on one side. Step five, I take my, two, my wire and I twist it between the two dowels, pressing down firmly. I give it another twist, then pull it off the board, and I take the wire to the back and give it a twist. And that's the piece that I will tape to my packages. Step six, I then cut the ribbon and remove it from the spool and then I do what I call fluffing. I manipulate the wired ribbon to create a nice fluffy look. Once I've done this, I take the two ends, I fold them in half, and I cut at a diagonal so that there is a tip in the middle to give a nice finished look. You could even just do an angle cut if you prefer. Then I'm done. Voila, isn't this beautiful? I'd like to tell you that I keep my bows from year to year. I just throw them in a box and they come out all squished and flat like this. But because they're on wires, the ribbon's on wire, you can just fluff it up. It'll look just like the year you made it, and it'll be all ready for another Christmas present under the tree. I also have made bows, not just for packages, but I have them in my exterior home decor at Christmas time. I have made hanging pine cone arrangements with big bows, and I've even made little bow ties for my metal reindeer. You can see all these and more pictures on my website, CherylPatton.com. That's Cheryl with a C, Patton with an E-N. But if you forget, I've left my website in the description down below. If you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. Meanwhile, have fun making your beautiful bows.